Hello awesome people once again welcome to Martin Omar Cards. In this channel what we basically do is we try to solve those basic problems uh, we always encounter while using Autodex product like a 3ds mask, Revit and um, AutoCAD. But in this video what we are going to be looking at is how to place our IES light because I have noticed that a lot of people they they have this challenge and they always complain like they don't when they put in their eyes light into their scene it doesn't lighten up while they render it doesn't show up there's no illumination so one thing we have to look at is um, is this you have to consider the sun the sun or the or whatever light you are using to light up your mat your 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 scene if it's too bright Definitely, you are not going your IS light. If it's brighter, if your scene light, your your that's your general light. If it's brighter than your, than it's, if it's over, if it's too bright, your IS light is not going to show up. You are not going to see the reflection of the light. You are not going to see the illumination from the light. Therefore, what we are going to be looking at now is how to place our IS light and how to set the proper value so that whichever Whichever, no matter how bright your your scene light is, you will still see your IS light. So let's head over straight. First of all, let's take a look at our sun. If you look at this sun, you see the angle at which, which the sun is coming through. If I drop this sun downwards, down to this part, that means after range we are going to have an evening. After range we are going to have this this evening evening. Uh, setting that's if you bring down your sun to this level then if you come over to the left part you see the sun intensity which is set at 0.7 at this 0.7 once we put it at 0.7 it's going to give us a very good daylight scene which is a uh, evening but if we take it down to if we take it down to like a 7 like a 6 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 which is going to give us a perfect evening setting for daylight rendering is still perfect then if we take let's take this up because that's what will be what we are going to be doing now so let's just take this up to where it was before at this angle and you see the value is set at 7 so once we place our IES light now it's going to give us a very good good uh, final range so let's play some is light and see how it looks good then right now what we're going to do first of all before before you you put in your is light the first thing you want to do is to get your is to put in uh, so you have to get these files First of all, if you don't have any IES lights, though I will be leaving this, 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 the, the link in the description if, if you want to download the ones that I'm using or if you want to download your own online, you can go online and search for IES viewer. First of all, that's what you need because we are going to be needing this IES viewer to set our lights then before we take them into 3ds mask. So you need this IES viewer, just search for IES viewer and this will you will see this on the first on the first uh, this will be on the first the very first uh, the very first thing you are going to see on google on google search so is viewer home uh, photomatic photometric uh, viewer.com just click on it and download this this uh, this is viewer and once you download it this is what you get it's going to show up on your screen like this so just launch it and it will open up then and the other thing we'll be needing again is uh, the IS pack. Okay, let's wait for this to load up. Um, okay. So the other thing we'll be needing is the IS pack. If you come over to Google, let's search for. Let's just search for IES pack. Okay, I've already, I guess I searched for it before. IES pack 3D download. Also, you see tons of uh, 
tons of packs to download from so just download and it will come in folder just a folder like this is is pack so you have all the various lights lighting uh, lighting shapes basically lighting shape let's put it that way all the shapes of lights that you want your is lights to take so let's come over to our is viewer and as you can see my own is already loaded so how do you load this pack this is folder pack into this is we just head over to this place and for example we have it on our desktop you come to click on desktop and this opens up on the left side of the of the uh, screen then you click on is that's where you have your pack you click on it and it will load up so as you can see it has loaded up all the is lights we have within and if you look at this red part of it you see this is the shape that the light is going to take let's scroll down and see all the shapes we are going to be having so whichever one you like just pick whichever one you like and then we'll just do a little tweak on the setting and everything will be okay okay these are my favorite this log log star premium led it's what i usually use for my renderings okay so let's pick let's pick let's let's pick this one so once we pick on this this particular one then what you want to do next is head over to this uh, render and click on it so once it comes up by default your own is going to be on this level the brightness is going to be like this so what you want to do is to increase the brightness so that once your run your rendering is done you have no matter how dark your screen your 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 uh, your range comes out no matter how dark or no matter how bright it is you still see your eyes light shining through so let's increase the brightness let's leave it at this part is very okay here then by default it's going to be at the middle here which is the zoom so how much you want your light to zoom how 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 the distance you want it to cover so let's just leave this at as it is then the distance from your this represent the distance from your from your lighting source to to where your to where your your lights your reflection your your reflection of light where it starts from if you want it to be further from the from the lighting source you just increase the distance and the more you increase it the further it the, the further it goes so let's just leave it at this, this by default so once it's done once it's done then just once you are done uh, adjusting these uh, these settings just close it up and then that is basically what you need to do you can play around with all the is, IS lights you have within but this is just my favorite that's what i'm using for this uh, for this uh, to try so let's uh, close this up then head back over to 3ds mass so here we will not now um, upload that modification we just did okay right now we have this uh, we have our scene here so let's put some is light and see how it comes out then you click on the uh, v-ray is click on it then locate the point where you want to place the light so here we have our casing of our lights we just click and drop Okay, there we have it. So let's go to the front of the fixture and do some adjustments to it. Let's drag it into place. So you move this up, move this up, and bring this down. Then the target point, take up the point. This point you can increase it or decrease it depending on how far you want the light to to go so for mine i'll just leave it at this point which is very okay for me 
then the next thing i want to do is to duplicate it take move it to the bottom so i have the so i have the, the have the light shining from and uh, from both both the top and the bottom that's just okay so i'll just copy this and duplicate hold your shift sorry your control key so sorry your shift key and drag to duplicate okay make sure it's on instant so that whatever changes you make to this to the first one it will affect every other is light you want every other light you want within the scene so if you don't want it to if you don't want them to have same properties same same brightness or same color of light you can just put it on copy but for mine i want all the is light i'll be placing in this scene to have same property so i'll just click on instance and click on ok then what i want to do now is to rotate the light so that it will be facing downwards okay so i'll move this one down and place it properly okay there we have it now it's time for us to bring in that light we just edited from the is viewer so you come head over to modify and this shows up you just from is files you go to none click on none and this opens up then try and locate the folder where your is lights where the, the pack that you downloaded then look for that particular one which you just uh, which you have just made some modifications to which is this last one this is the one i made modifications to blockstar premium led 776 d 48 for uh, 844 is and i'll just click on that and open so as you can see as i opened it it's it's a uh, it almost automatically appears in the two is like so what i will do is just to click on both of them then i can then distribute it across all the places i want my lights to be so, but before then what i'll quickly want to do is let's just go over the settings all over again so now we come to the left side so the right part of our screen we have all the we have the uh, v-ray is parameters so from here we can make adjustments to our parameters so this is where the lighting comes in how bright we want our light to be so most most times where we have difficulty is that when we render we don't see that we don't see that light it doesn't light it doesn't it doesn't give that illumination the way we want it i guess that is the reason why we are watching this video in the first place so what we want to do is you click on this uh, click on the intensity value and we just add a zero to it by default your own might not be uh, in 500,000. it might be something else depend on the version of uh, version of a 3ds mask you are using i will just by default mine is a is on 50,000 so i'll just add a zero to it to make it 500,000 so but uh, nevertheless uh, a value of a uh, between 200 to 1 million is a very good value for your is light so no matter how bright your scene is you will still see the light the shining of the light from the lighting source so let's just and again also make sure that nothing is blocking the lighting source that it's completely free because if you have something blocking it for example if i move this in to this to if i to if i move it to uh, to if i move it in too much it's going to it's not going to light up so make sure you drag it out a bit let it be after this line the the, the source the source line let it be after it but if it's an open source maybe you have a glass underneath where you know the light can shine through then you can just leave it inside but for this reason to be on the safer side to make our work easy for us i'll just leave it at this point let it be outside because all we basically need is the reflection of the light so let it let us leave it outside so that is it then the power source i've already increased my own to 500,000, which is a very good value you can you can depend on how your 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 depend on the, uh, the, the version of a 3ds mask you are using 
but the value of uh, uh, five uh, of four hundred, sorry, three hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred to one million is a very good um, value for your IES light. So let's just leave it at five hundred thousand, or probably I can reduce it to four hundred, whichever one, but it's good at five hundred. Let's hold on for this to respond. Okay, there we have it. What I'll do now is I'll just I'll like select all these uh, select all the property of the light, then I'll group them group them into one. Okay, so I can just easily distribute them across where I want them to be instance so, uh, so let me just position them where I want them to be rotate this into its position drag it right Okay, there we have it. And if you are, if you want to use this very, if you want to use this uh, this very model as your templates, you can go over to the description. I will leave a link there also where you can all the links. I will leave them there where you can get the template and download it so you can use the template as well. If you want to know how to use your templates, same templates for your rendering, there's a video for this. Uh, how to import from Revit or any other card into this uh, into your 3ds mask and use this very template for your range without having to stress yourself trying to do any other modifications so we have this and uh, we we'll just go over to render then we render and see how our is light comes out okay so here we have our light on our scene and our settings are properly done so what we'll just do now i will render so let me just fast forward it to the rendering Okay, here we have it. As you can see, our light is up. You can see we have the lights right here. We have it, and you can you can look at this spot, the top right here. It's showing up. If you look at this part, you see the light right there. Coming to this part again, you see the light, the reflection of the lights under the slab right there. Then you have this light so basically that is how you adjust your is light using that very value so i'll be leaving the link to this to this uh, to this model if you want to use if there's anything you feel like using within the model the this component and the rest of them so you can have access to them in the model so thank you for watching and see you in our next video